Thank you so much, Chris. It is 6.03 if you're keeping up with your time. Well, 24 hours of voting on a new contract at the GM plant in Wentzville ended early this morning. The Power of Two's Laura Simon is live to explain why the ratification vote is needed and what happens next. Laura. Claire, good morning to you. UAW workers have been back at work all because of a tentative deal, but they needed to ratify the contract in order to make it official. And so the voting ended here at 430 this morning. It started at 430 yesterday morning and union workers are inside uh, counting those ballots as we speak this morning. And they do have a meeting here later this morning, so we'll have to wait and see if the results are in by then. But for yesterday morning, and I talked with various people out here getting their perspectives on all of this. The local 2250 has 3,700 members. The GM plant in Wentzville is one of the three original plants where the UAW strike all started. UAW achieved record contracts with the big three automakers after six weeks of targeted labor. But not all union members have been happy with the new deal. It was on track to pass, but then received notable rejections by United Auto Workers at the General Motors plants in Flint, Michigan and Spring Hill, Tennessee. And 56 percent of GM workers in a union in Toledo, Ohio, also voted it down. A new contract includes a 25 percent pay increase over the course of four and a half years, cost of living adjustments, richer contributions to the pension plan and 401ks. It also keeps their health care intact. Former UAW of this local chapter here in Wentzville, Glenn Coggy supports the new deal and he tells me he voted yes yesterday. He thinks it's going to pass here in Wentzville by a narrow margin, but as we've seen in other states, this really could go either way. If it's turned down, I imagine it will either be back on the street or there will be a cooling off period while they try to iron out whatever the concerns are. And there is a general meeting. We have this notice here happening at 645 this morning at the Union Hall. It has nothing to do with the vote, but I understand that the board is inside counting the ballots right now. And as soon as we have those results, we will be sure to bring them to you here live. Reporting live in Wentzville, I'm Laura Simon.